favorite thing about gardening is when we first come back here, we observe the garden and see what's doing good and what's doing not so good. The watermelon. It's kind of not doing good because it's not growing at all. I felt like I didn't water it enough. I felt disappointed. Some of them are dying. It's made me a little sad. Uh, we're really putting a lot of hope and faith and really wishing that these will grow more. You can hope, but I don't really think that that will affect the plants. We're going to just keep on trying and not give up. Do you know which way the sun goes from here? No. So it goes that way and ends up that way? What direction is that? North. No. West. West. There you go. So the sun sets in the west. Yeah, these should be planted somewhere else. You know why that's so wet over there? It's not getting much sun. Over here where we are, look how dry this is over here. We need to move the soil around so that way it's not dry in certain spots. There's a lot of fruits and vegetables that I've never heard of before. The zucchini is really growing a lot. They start changing. I'm like, what is that? I felt like I haven't been doing enough to help. I'm just trying to do a little bit more than that to help the garden. If you don't water it, it's gonna like say, ah, I need water, I need water. And then they just die and you say, oh, what happened to my plants? You didn't water it. I consider the plants my children and I give it love and the love is the water and nutrients to make it grow. Everybody is actually trying to help out when they give ideas as a solution. It's going to feel nice because we get to share with our food that we grew. I never had a garden like this before. You can never pick the kids that are going to flourish in the garden from the first meeting, but by the end of three or four days converting it, you see the same kids start coming back to volunteer. That was, that was awesome.